Uh, hello, fellas. Today I'm going to be reviewing this uh, IQ H100. So uh, I already cut off all the tape, so we're just going to open them off. This isn't, this isn't the RGB version, they sent me the wrong one. Okay, well, I guess we're reviewing the non-RGB version today. Um, sorry about that. Um, the non-RGB version still does come with some lights. Um, but they're not like RGB lights, they're like, they're like LEDs, I think. They're not... The RGB version, so you can't, you know, control them with your uh, your IQ software. Um, they're stuck on just the the, the standard light settings, which is, I mean, you can still turn them off, but then you have to like open up your computer, and the LEDs are a lot worse than the RGB version. But it, they gave me the wrong one, so I guess I have to review the uh, LED version. Um, so we got the test button here. Um, this little button. Uh, previews the light in the middle, the middle fan here, um, or sorry, not the fan, the radiator, the middle radiator here. I mean, I guess the radiator does have fans on it, but the, the radiator, you can test out the lighting. There's no test button for the rest of it, so you do have to flip on the switch. Um, so we'll, there is a switch also for here too, so we'll just go ahead and turn that on. And, um, uh, it does change colors. Oh, this. It's some of the, some of the parts on the on the model of the semi are kind of loose. So I'll have to get back to um. Uh, cord. Yeah, it's Corsair. I'll have to get back to Corsair on this um, one because they clearly gave me a. Uh, first off, they sent me the wrong one and they gave me a uh, def defunct unit. But um, the the middle one does change colors. Um, so on the back here, we do have a light switch for the rest of the um, water cooling unit. So um, these do not change, they are the same. Um, there is some small lights in here, although they are kind of dim, so you can't see them as, as good. I don't know if that's intentional or it's another part of the lemon design, uh, the lemon I got. But the, the bottoms here are fully functional, um, the bottom lights on the unit, so we can uh, put it in the computer and see what kind of temperatures we're going to be pulling with this new uh, H100. So we're here with our computer open and ready to receive the unit. Um, I will be taking what I have, the air cooler I already have off um, in a separate... Not not on camera. Everyone should know how to take their air cooler off. So, uh, take your air cooler off. Of course, turn it off. Uh, I should probably turn it off so you can see. So, you just come over here to the windows and hit shut down. For those of you who don't know how to turn it off. And, um... So, yeah, um... Un uninstall your front fans and your, um... Uh, your the cooler you currently have on your com uh, CPU, um, so yeah, go ahead and do that, and come back. Once you've uh, got everything out, um, the installation is actually really easy. It's part of Corsair's new uh, program, where uh, you literally just push it in there and it works. Um, you still have to install the front fans, but uh, installation of the cooler itself is very easy. You just kind of just, just put it in there. And uh, go ahead and turn on your computer. I will, and uh, we'll take a look at the temperatures. Opening up MSI Afterburner, we can see that the temperatures here are already much lower than if you were using an air cooler. For me, I was using the stock cooler that came with my CPU, and it would be in... Those little spikes would reach the 
40s or 50s on the home screen here. So we'll uh, run one test and uh, I'll show you how effective it is. Here we are in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, one of the most demanding games in the market currently. CPU wise, it has to, there's a lot of things that have to be rendered, lots of parts and pieces. It's a very CPU heavy game. It's not even breaking a sweat. The CPU is faring very nicely, but this is of course just the main menu. The story might change once we start up a game. Usually the CPU usually uh, starts going up around when you open up the cameras. So here we can see we're doing some multi-core functionalities here by checking the cameras, playing the audio. This is incredibly CPU intense and it, is, it has only gone up one degree from the menu. Every time Springtrap moves, that's a couple of your cores being used. Resetting audio devices, everything in this in this game is is just using a lot of your CPU. And as you can see, the cooler doesn't even break a sweat. Overall, this is one of the best cooling products you can buy on the market right now. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to pick up one of these things because your CPU temperatures will never be this low. This is seriously the best temperatures I've ever seen in my life. When I, when, when I would play FNAF 3 with my other seat, with my other cooler, this thing here, whenever I would play FNAF 3 with it, it would get so hot that the cooler would just, or the CPU would go into safety mode and just shut itself off. Seriously, this is one of the best things you can buy for a computer. I really recommend picking it up. Link in the description.